So this question says square A has side lengths that are 166 times the side lengths of square B. All right, I'm going to use a strategy plug-in picture here because we're describing a square, right? We're told that we have a square and we're given some information about its side lengths, but there's no picture to, re to reflect that. So I'm going to draw my square. I'm going to call this square A. Uh, we're told that the side lengths of square A are 166 times the side length of square B. So I'm going to keep this very simple. This is my square B, which definitely not proportional here. And I'm going to say the side lengths of square B are 2. Right? So all these are 2. So if that was the case, that means that the side lengths of square A would be 2 times 166, which makes them 332. Okay, so in essence, I'm also using a second strategy here, which is plug in your own number. We're given some instructions about these side lengths, so we're not told exactly what they are. I like to know exactly what they are, so I made it up. Um, the next part of this question says the area of square A is K times the area of square B. Well, what is the area of square B? The area of square B, or any square, is just side times side. So the area here, area would equal four. The area for, uh, for square A would equal 332 times 332, which is equal to 110,224. We're told that the area of square A, this 110,224, is, right, is always means equals, K times the area of square B, or 4K, right? So that's a translation. So I'm also kind of using some TWP here, or translation, I should say. I'm translating that sentence directly into a mathematical equation. So all that's left to do now is to divide by 4. I go back to my calculator, and I find out what is 110,224 divided by 4, and the answer I get is 27,556. So that's our answer, 27. Five, five, six, and actually there's no comma. You can't place a comma in for your answer. So 27556 is our answer.